Hello and welcome to my Coffee Break series where you'll find short pieces mainly about art. Today we are going to look at the relatively unknown genre of German Expressionism. In the early 1900s Germany was depressed both economically and emotionally and in this scenario German artists felt muzzled by the bourgeois attitudes and state-sponsored art education that dominated the country's culture and aesthetics. In 1905, a small group of painters decided to rebel, and instead of the expected stiff, straightforward compositions, they loaded their canvases with vivid, clashing shards of colour and pared down grossly distorted forms. These artists became known as the German Expressionists. Let's look at a few examples. Kirchner and his friends favoured vivid palettes and simplified distorted forms, which were inspired by post-impressionist and uh, tribal art from Africa and South Pacific. Their favourite subjects were unfettered nudes and marginal members of society like prostitutes, and they were designed to shock and stir emotions. In this picture, Red Nudes, Kirchner gives form to his idea of a world free from censure, where naked people frolic openly. Mark and his group in Munich also used intense, unnatural colours and undulating forms to provoke emotion. But instead of focusing on human subjects, they often express their ideas through representations of the natural world. Hyper-saturated animals and landscapes, all loaded with symbolism. Mark's ebullient yellow cow is one of his many canvases portraying animals. Like Mark, Kadinsky believed in art's ability to express the metaphysical, and he saw colour as a key tool in this pursuit. To him, colour was a power which influences the soul. He thought blue stimulated spirituality, while yellow had the power to disturb. This piece is one of more than 35 he made between 1909 and 1914, and intended to frame emotional and uh, psychological sensations. Gabrielle Munter struggled for recognition throughout her lifetime, and saw her contribution to Expressionism overshadowed by her male counterparts. Myopically, she is most often remembered as Kadinsky's partner, with whom she shared her home in Munich, and where they together explored colour and abstract forms. She painted this in 1908 on a summer holiday to the rural hamlet, and this was a time when she changed from Impressionist painting to abstract. Paul Klee was influenced heavily by Kadinsky and Mackey. Klee's early work consisted primarily of black and white drawings and prints, but on a trip to Tunisia with Mackey in 1914, his imagination was stirred by the desert landscape and the striking sunsets, inspiring him to introduce colour and abstract forms into his work, which convey emotion and energy. During World War I, both Mackey and Mark died in battle, and Klee's paintings veered further from the physical world. In this 1916 painting, he portrays a dimension far from the realities of war, where magic and miracles can take place. The horrors of war became a consistent theme for German Expressionist artists, and some of the movement's most searing images are by the Berlin-based Cathay Hollowitz, who focused on printmaking. Her early images highlight the plight of the poor and the oppressed as a means to condemn the German government's conservative social policies. But her best-known and most impressive work was made in response to World War I and the death of her own son in battle. Here, she shows the sacrifice of a mother, giving her child up to war. The sadness emphasised by the dark palette and the cavernous pools of black ink. Years later, in 1933, her work was deemed degenerate by the Nazis, 
who ironically then used her prints in their propaganda. Otto Dix's style shifted dramatically after serving in World War I. He employed distorted figuration to invoke the devastation and corruption of war. In this masterpiece, he ruthlessly portrays the realities of post-war Germany and the decadence and violence that plagued Berlin in particular. The painting's central panel shows a party filled with moneyed Berliners dripping in jewels and other flappery, while the side panels reveal the darker side of German culture, one where maimed veterans are relegated to the city streets and widows resort to perhaps prostitution to make ends meet. This dichotomy between indulgence and wealth and destitution and depravity is a theme that Dix returned to again and again in his caustic, blistering, expressive work. That's just a few artists of the German expressionist genre, but I hope it gives you a taste of the style. Thank you for watching this video. Please press the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss any more.